Hey there, welcome back to the Back 30. I'm Neil. Today we have a special event happening. Our house has been noticed by our bank that has funded us that we're very pleased about. They decided to do some advertising utilizing our build here and everything we've done. Uh, my wife, Melissa, she's been doing interviews with them and today they're doing an on-site shoot for the house and Melissa, which I'm very proud of her and everything we've done here. So stay tuned. Camera, <laughs> and you are smiling. Okay, yeah, back up just a little bit.
I wanted to take a moment to give a special shout out to Eastern Connecticut Builders of Lebanon. Chris, the owner, his father Mike, and his uh, friend, co-worker Bill. Uh, these guys took some time off moving off of uh, some other jobs to give me a hand getting these upper windows in prior to our video shoot, make our house look even better. Their workmanship is impeccable. I uh, just wanted to give a special shout out to them for helping me out like this. If you're on this side of the state, local to Lebanon, feel free to give them a call. They can give you a great quote and you'll have some impeccable work. So here we go, next step. We're putting radiant flooring on the main floor up underneath the uh, floor joists here. And I've already started, I wanted to see how it was gonna go, get my game plan instead of wasting time um, and having you guys bored out of your minds watching nonsense. So what I've done so far, I set up my PEX wheel here that I used for the flooring as you saw in the previous episodes. I have holes pre-drilled across the, uh, the, the, uh, the joist here. I have one for feed and one for return. I did the measurement, it's 20 feet in one length, so I'm gonna go four bays at a time. Um, so that gives me about 180 feet, I think it is, uh, each uh, leg of this whole section. So I'm gonna put a manifold, I've got a uh, lower office, a bathroom, a craft room, and in the bathroom I have a couple ceiling valves anyways. This is all going to be drop ceiling down here, and I'm going to be putting a couple valves in the ceiling above the bathroom, so I'm going to make that a central point for shutoffs, for manifolds, and so forth. So I have started, as I mentioned, I started pulling in, figuring out how I'm going to do it. I'm kind of looping it down and back. Uh, I'm on the third bay now, and I'll continue. Here we go. So after doing the uh, lower level uh, radiant floor in the concrete, upstairs is a little different going above my head into the joist. So it's kind of a learning curve, putting all the uh, piping into the joist across each section and trying to figure it out. 
So this was a first run trial laying in all the pipe all the way down through the four bays as the as one run. Uh, I found that this just became a spidery mess that you'll see upcoming. And as I started running more pipe in into the second and third section of this one room, I started learning my routine and it got better. You'll see coming up. All right. There's my four bays down and back. Next step is starting on my end run that I returned. Comes in here and I got these Vivor plates to strap these these Vivor plates. They're real cheap tin. Not impressed by them at all. They're literally just a little bit thicker than aluminum foil, really. I mean, I could just easily bend them. I was going to route some uh, wood pieces, get a half round bit and route this groove out, out, this groove out and put it up and just tack through the wood. And Melissa said, no, we're going to do it the traditional way, which as you know, nothing in this house is traditional. It's all custom and with my ingenuity is building my own stuff so i'm not happy i have to do this now that we have the material i'm going to but i'll throw in these flimsy things and hope for the best in God's name invented radiant flooring. Oh my God. Oh. Kudos to installers. Let me tell you. I'm a homeowner, sure. I do a lot myself, but wow. What a pain. All right, well, here's a good time to show you. This was the, this is the pinch gripper I was talking about. It's got some nice thick steel jaws. This comes in and crimps the pinch. Trigger press, you hold it in until it goes all the way and stops. Show you it now. I'm actually too far in on this to go back and rerun all this I'm just going to put in an elbow at the end and make the turn continue on find my holes here this will alleviate this mess Take my one special battery. Now 
not yet ready to invest in the Royby product. Even though these are feeling pretty heavy duty, there's some weight to this. If, you know, using this regularly, that's that's some good weight there. Even this, it's pretty solid. It's I don't know what the weights are on them, but they're heavier than your average tool. I guess they're making them real durable, but whether it's durable or metal parts or whatever it may be, I don't know. It feels solid, but working with this all day long, like a dumbbell. <laughs> Set it where I want it. Squeeze. That's not where I wanted it. That's way too far up. Boy, that's the way today's going to go, isn't it? So when you rush, that's what happens. I wanted it an eighth inch from the edge where it's supposed to be. I slid and slipped when the motor ran and pulled it out here. That'll leak. It's too far out. You want an eighth inch in. Be right back. Well, how can I help you, honey? Hey guys, look who showed up. The inspector. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Let's give this another try. like that okay so next I gotta figure out all this coil mess here definitely see the difference from when I first started to now that I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh. Yeah, even she's laughing about this. Ridiculous. Vivor, what are you doing giving us all this extra work? It's like... Look at this. Oh my god, it's like... Yeah, what's it for? Do you think it looks pretty to go up in a ceiling? Come on. Oh my god. Just spent hours doing this.
Hey, anybody want to uh, save some hot dogs from the cookout, you just put it in here, fold it up like tinfoil, and you got it for the next day. side so it overlaps. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Way in the winds up, I ended up in handcuffs. Was no comedian when the judge told me to stand up. Man in the mirror, clearly different appearance. Experiences make it where I fear sentencing hearings. But I just stay faithful. Real cowboys never make it a shame. We seen what the gang did to Troy Aikman, but I just kept praying. Cause that's what the good book said. I followed in the footsteps of a man that put beds. My daughter and my son, I pray they be all they can be as long as they choose not to be. A cowboy like me. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Cause they'll never be at home and they'll always feel alone. Even if they're with somebody they love. Mama raised a rambler all on the line. Country grandma, cock back hammer, 100 pounds in the camper, few years in the slammer, hair my dirty laundry, share my life panorama, life of a cowboy, backdrop bandana, panda, panda. It at least get it easier. Oh, I kind of got the head. A little pain in the ass on the end. Oh, but you did a lot already. A different method this time. This time I ran the overall loop and I started at the very end. And instead of pulling all the loops into each bay hanging there, I just did the first bay and the one I was working on. What more can they say? I'm the real story. The one they try to tell, quarter in the wishing well, fishing for the fish scale, residue on this scale, victory in this tale. I throw my boat off in the water, watch the ship sail, get mail, spend it all, running from the law, feel alone with my loved ones, cause my back against the wall. Time's up, blue lights and a loud noise, telling my baby mama, don't let the babies grow up to be cowboys. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. 
There's a monster under my bed and at my window there's a dragon I accepted the challenge and turned me into a savage I broke a promise to myself again I don't know why I am so vulnerable They try to help but I won't let them in I guess rock bottom's where I'm comfortable Both my feet planted when most people would have panicked I embraced the storm, I found beauty in what was damaged I'm not afraid of the boogeyman Instead I look at him like he's a friend There's not a monster out there in the world The scarier than the one that's within There's a creature in my closet I can hear him rumbling around The demon screaming in the distance Creates such a humbling sound The monster that's outside my window With a sacred, then it's over no matter what your faith is I'm a creature There's a creature in my closet I can hear him rumbling around The demon screaming in the distance Creates such a humbling sound The monster that's outside my window He's like family to me now The things that people are afraid of Never let me Managed to get myself in trouble, all of this pain. Yeah, I'm damned in the double dose of liquor's always to blame. If I could keep myself sober, I keep my hands to myself. If I take a shot and it's over, that's how I end up in hell. I hope I don't pass it down to my offspring. They get everything from their daddy, feel like I'm addicted to all things. There's no reason to change, going too far now. And I'm stuck in my ways, back at the bar now. They say I'm a flirt and they right, I ain't perfect, guy. So when I'm thirsty and perking and purposely searching for something that's hurting me, so I just can't pack up and go. I just back out of a slow. That's how it go. I got the back out the hole. What next? Like I like I don't know. Okay. I think he be laughing at me, hands be grabbing at me. Feel like God let it happen to me. Dad be blasting me, and these be a dad be dad for me. Okay. Yeah. I think I better let it go. Yeah. Either that or I gotta let it know. And I can't do that. There's a creature in my closet I can hear him rumbling around The demon screaming in the distance Creates such a humbling sound The monster that's outside my window He's like family to me now The things that people are afraid of Never let me down
simple man They call me redneck, I reckon that I am But there's things going on that make me mad to the core I gotta work like a dog to make ends meet There's crooked politicians and crime in the streets And I'm madder than hell and I ain't gonna take it no Tell our kids to just say no Then some panty waist judge lets a drug dealer go Slaps him on his wrist and he turns him back out on the town Well if I had my way with people selling dope I'd take a big tall tree and a short piece of rope I'd hang them up high and let them swing till the sun goes down Well you know what's wrong with the world today People done gone, put their Bibles away They're living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the land Well, the good book says it, so I know it's the truth An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth You better watch where you go, remember where you've been That's the way I see it, I'm a simple man I'm the kind of man wouldn't harm a mouse But if I catch somebody breaking in my house I got a 12-gauge shotgun waiting on the other side So don't go pushing me against my will I don't want to have to fight you, but I darn sure will So if you don't want trouble, then you better just pass me on As far as I'm concerned, there ain't no excuse For the raping and the killing and the child abuse and I got a way to put a hand to all that mess You just take them rascals out in the swamp Put them on their knees and tie them to a stump Let the rattlers and the bugs and the alligators do the rest Well, you know what's wrong with the world today People done gone, put their Bibles away They're living by the law of the jungle, not the law of the land yeah, the good book says it, so I know it's the truth A knife for a knife and a tooth for a tooth You better watch where you go, remember where you've been That's the way I see it, I'm a simple man Watch where you go, remember where you've been That's the way I see it, I'm a simple man Like me, mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and drive old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Cause they'll never be at home and they'll always feel alone. Even if they're with somebody they love. Uh, mama raised a rambler all on the line, gambler. Country grammar, cock back hammer, hundred pounds in the camper, few years in the slammer, hair my dirty laundry, share my life panorama, life of a cowboy, backdrop bandana, panda, panda, 
I picked the loader from Atlanta, landed from Havana, from the hands of Jorge, for a play for court dates, what more can they say, uh, I'm the real story. The one they try to tell, quarter in the wishing well, fishing for the fish scale, residue on this scale, victory in this tale. I throw my boat off in the water, watch the ship sail, get mail, spend it all, running from the law, feel alone with my loved ones, cause my back against the wall. Time's up, blue lights and a loud noise, telling my baby mama, don't let the babies grow up to be cowboys. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. This is my country, this is who I 
is who I am. This is who I am. So welcome to my house. House and right now she's sound asleep, so it's probably best for the both of us if you just turn around and leave. 'Cause if you come in this fucking house, then you too gonna go to sleep. I promise you, boy, don't play with me. I pray to God my soul to keep, especially this day and age. Gotta handle shit our own way with a 30-30 horse 12 gauge behind this door. Your hell awaits. My old lady, she rides too. Picking up every shell case, mopping up these blood stains, but she ain't seen a damn thing. Most of my people are convicts, hard-headed, no nonsense. So please approach with caution. You never know who's watching. You never know what's on the other side of that front door, and you knocking might step out like. Motherfuckers get the dropping. All the neighbors heard was the dogs barking. The sun was down, it was getting dark, and I told the sheriff it ain't no problems, man. I was just taking out the garbage. So if you don't mind, please excuse me. I'm with the family trying to watch a movie. I'm sure you got better things to do, so I'll let you go and get back Y'all to do it. To my house, cause these are my people, and this is my land, and this is what we pray for, and this is God's plan. And if you ain't from here, then you won't understand. This is my country. Welcome to my house. Lord have mercy. 